Hello and welcome to Public Connect. So in this video, we are going to see how you can connect your Elementor form with Public Connect and actually collect the responses of form submission response from Elementor inside a Public Connect workflow and automate the process as well. So here guys, Elementor form is a very popular online form building application which usually people use on their website somehow for their WordPress websites as well. So here you can see that on my WordPress website, I have installed the plugin of Elementor form. And I have also created a form over here in Elementor and published this form on my website. Now I want to connect this form with Pavli Connect and automate the process. So how you can connect this form with Pavli Connect and collect the response? Let's see. So here you can see that we have come to Pavli Connect's dashboard. Now after reaching to this dashboard, click on this create workflow button and give this workflow a name. And after naming the workflow, just click on create. Now you can see that we have created a workflow inside Pavli Connect. And in this workflow, we have two different windows. First one is the trigger window and second one is the action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's begin with our trigger window. So the idea here is we have to basically add a webhook URL given by Public Connect in Elementor form, the form whose response we want to capture inside Public Connect. So here in trigger window in choose app, search for Elementor. Now after selecting Elementor in trigger window, here in trigger event from the drop down, select new form submission because for the same event, we want to get the data from Elementor. Now here guys, after selecting our trigger event, Pavli can give us a webhook URL. So just copy this webhook URL from here and you have to actually follow the help text given below over here to add this webhook URL into your form. So after copying this webhook URL, just go to the form whose responses, whose submission you want to capture inside Pavli Connect. And after opening this form, just click on this edit button, the pencil button on the right top corner of the form. So this is the form, a contact form, a demo form which I have created. Just click on it and here you can see that this form will open up on the left side in edit mode. Now after opening this guys, here you can see that on the left bar, there is an option named as actions after submit. Just click on this action. And here guys, from the drop down, we have to select the action as webhook. So select webhook under actions after submit. As we select webhook, here you can see that a new option of webhook has been added just below it. So just click on webhook and here we have a field to add the webhook URL. Now here guys, the webhook URL, which public can give us, which we have copied, we just have to copy this webhook URL from here and paste it over here in Elementor. And after pasting this webhook URL, just click on this update button over here. So just now we have added a webhook URL from Public Connect in this webhook URL section of Elementor. Now every time we are going to receive a new form submission, a new response in this form which we have created using Elementor, the response of that form submission will be received inside Public Connect over here in this trigger window. So let's see. So we will just open this form in preview mode. And yes, here you can see that the form is open in front of us in preview mode. Let's enter the details of a dummy user over here in this form. For example, I'll enter the name as dummy user. This is the name. This is the email address. This is the mobile number. And then this is the city, for example, Delhi. After entering these details in the form, click on the submit button. So just now we have received a new response, a new form submission in the form which we have created using Elementor. And because we have connected the same form with Public Connect using the webhook URL, here we will see that the response of the same form submission will be received inside Public Connect. And yes, here in our trigger window from where we have added the webhook URL in Elementor, you can see that we have received some response. And in this response, you can see the same details of the form submission. We have the same mobile number, same last name, same first name, same name of the user which we have just now entered. You can see the same email address and the same city as well. So in this way guys, you can basically connect your Elementor form with Public Connect using this webhook URL and capture the responses of your Elementor form submission inside your Public Connect workflow and automate the process after that as well. So here guys, I hope this video was helpful to you. If you like the video, don't forget to hit the like button, share it with others and subscribe to Pavli for more such content on automation and integration. So this is it for today's video guys. Thank you. Have a great day.